Hi and welcome, my name is Bernard and today I want to talk about recent changes to LastPass and why I think it's time to move to a different password manager. This video will consist of three parts. First, I want to talk about why I think it's a good idea to reconsider using LastPass. Then I want to talk about why I think Bitwarden is a good alternative. And in the last part I want to show you how you can migrate from LastPass to Bitwarden. So let's get started. So first I wanted to say that I used LastPass for quite a few years and it was actually my first password manager when I got started using one. I also recommended LastPass to many of my colleagues, friends and family members because I think it's one of the easiest and cheapest ways to enhance your security profile. For the last years you could depend on LastPass's free plan to store your passwords and sync them across multiple devices. For example, you can install LastPass on your iPhone and on your MacBook and if you add a password on one of the devices, you can access it on the other one without having to explicitly sync something or whatnot. In February, LastPass announced significant changes to their free plan. Basically, they restrict their free plan to one device type, either phones or computers. And if you want to use both device types, you need to subscribe to the premium plan, which costs about $36 a year. Now, in my opinion, this makes the free plan useless for almost everyone, because I honestly don't know anyone who doesn't have a mobile device. And although you may uh, do all your work on your desktop or on your notebook, there always comes the time when you just need to quickly access something on your mobile phone and that would be impossible. So if you really just use one device type and you like LastPass, you can of course continue using their free plan. Otherwise you have two options. Either you pay the $36 a year for the premium plan or you move to some other password manager. In the next section I want to show you why I think Bitwarden is a good alternative. Bitwarden is an open source password manager that looks almost identically on the desktop and on the phone, has a very nice user interface and also allows you to store as many passwords as you want. It also syncs with an unlimited number of device types and most importantly it has a free plan without device restrictions. So of course they need to make money as well, so how do they do it? Well there is a premium plan for about $10 a year which is still just like a third of what LastPass is charging and it comes with a set of premium features such as YubiKey login or emergency access. So if you're looking for those features, feel free to explore their premium plan. However, in this video I want to focus on their free plan because I think it is uh, enough for most users and especially if you're coming from LastPass and you're upset about their change, it's probably the way to go for you now. Therefore, in the next and last part of this video, I want to show you how you can migrate your passwords from LastPass to Bitwarden and how you can set up the extension and the app on your devices. We'll start with LastPass opened and logged in. I've created a demo account for these purposes, so please don't try to hack it. Uh, as you can see, there are two uh, secrets. We have the YouTube login, we can have a look at it. Uh, and we also, so we see the username, we see the password, and we also have a secret note. And we can see this uh, very secret content. So our goal is now to export those uh, entries in LastPass to a CSV file, and then to import this CSV file into Bitwarden. So what we're going to do is we uh, go to advanced options, select export and now we have to enter our master password again. And as you can see the browser automatically downloaded a CSV file. Now be careful, this CSV file now contains all your passwords in clear text. This is a very sensitive file and please make sure to delete it after the import in Bitwarden is complete and do not uh, send it to anyone. So the next step, uh, we are going to log in to Bitwarden. So just create an account with the free plan and uh, install the browser extension and now log in to vault.bitwarden.com. Um, the next step is to navigate to tools select import data and now you can select the format of the import file. Of course you can uh, import data from many different uh, uh, programs. Uh, in this case we are interested in importing data from LastPass. So we select LastPass CSV 
and now we can choose the CSV file we just downloaded. We select import data and voila, the data has been successfully imported in our vault. Now we can make sure that the import was actually successful by opening this login and revealing the value and uh, it's the same value I entered in LastPass. Likely we can open the my secrets file and as you can see the secret is still here. So actually that's it. The remaining two steps are just to uh, delete the exported CSV file and also to delete your LastPass account because you really don't want to have all your passwords lying around in two different places. So thank you very much for watching this short video. Let me know if you have any questions or problems during the migration process and have a great day.